Alright y'all, welcome back to another. Today we're going to be going along with my Uncle Trace. He's do a little bit of beekeeping with him. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. Y'all just stay tuned. Alright, before we go out there with him, I found a little honey bee nest myself out here by the pond. Try to see if we can't ride a little honey from it. So we done made it out here this honey bee hive. I'm going to take this baseball bat and hit her a good time or two and hopefully it bottom up should just fall out along with that honey. It's kind of cool out so I don't think these bees going to be real active. They'll probably be real slow. Let's see what we can do. Tracy Herford, we're going to see how him show us how he sets space warm traps. Okay, we got a 10 frame uh, deep honey super, and we put the two dark cones on each side and leave the, we leave the inside open, give them more room to move in, and then a lot of times you can catch swarms, they'll move in your trap. And uh, we put this, got this wire fixed to keep the rats out to the bees, gets moved in, put it over the hole right, right there. And we're fixing to go check some traps and see if we've got any swarms caught. If we don't, there's uh, a couple swarms has moved in my traps behind the house. We'll come back and look at them later. Now, how big do you think these boxes is? Just guessing on them. Them is a 10 frame. 10 frame. All right. And the actual size on them, like, as far as about a foot wide by, like, a foot by foot square? Probably. All right. <laughs> this one, I left it cracked so that bees could smell, maybe pick the smell up better to move in. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one, I got like empty frames and just a little bit of brood, I mean a little bit of old comb, but mainly empty frames. And I got one on the outside that's got comb in it. They like the old dark combs. And one reason I set up like a little bee yard, if I don't catch none, then I'll bring some splits I made here and put in it. We got, we had caught these four hives there and we, bees had moved in two of them that was dead. So we're gonna open this enough, I hadn't looked in it. I set a thing of foundation on top, but I ain't looked to see if they've got a queen or not. They just moved in it about three days ago. And I'm on, I use these little bitty pine needles to light my smoker with. Cause it seems like they smoke a lot better than the, the bigger ones to me.
I'm gonna put me a hat and some gloves on because I, I don't know how mean them bees are. I don't want my get stung in the face. But we'll find out what's going on with you. Did you read? Yeah. Scott, if you want to stand behind them, if they ain't real, man, come over here behind them, don't they? Uh -huh. If they ain't real, man, they'll come and get you in the front, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. If you stay behind them, they ain't as mean. I mean, they ain't. Okay, we're going to look in here. They have started building a little bit of comb, if you can see it sideways. And I didn't know they'd be done that much that quick. But yeah, they start to pull comb, you can see, off that foundation. But I'm gonna set this box off. We're gonna look down in there and see what's in there. Yeah, they're doing a little bit. We're going to look and see if we see the queen bee or see if she's laying or whatever. Looks like a pretty big swarm moved in this box. Or, no, it's, that's a drone bee right there. Maybe she'll be on the next one, I don't know. I don't even think she's laying right here. Oh, there she is. There's the queen bee right there. Can you see her skull? Mm -hmm. Are you getting our sand here? Yeah, we are. Okay. I may catch her and mark her, and that way I know where she's at. I'm going to let Skylar watch her while I get my marker. Where's she go? Mm -hmm. I just think she would plant all them bees. <laughs> I don't think they even bees is real mean. I hope they're not. Did she go on the other side? Mm -hmm. There she is. There she is right there again. 
She got on this other frame. I'm gonna see if I can catch her. Let's see. Catch her with my. Now, can that queen sting you? Uh, they can, but most times they won't. And, uh, what's the point of marking them, though? Well, it makes it easier for you to see them. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to put them back. How long will that marking usually stay on that bait? Sometimes they'll clean it back off, and sometimes it'll stay for two or three years. Hmm. Well, we're going to put them back in there and leave them alone for right now. All right. We're just trying to see what's going on. They ain't, I don't think she's been in there long enough to start laying yet. Yeah. What's that right there? It looks like salt. That's a little bit of sugar I had. I was feeding some with. Well, since they moved in, and we're gonna put them to work and see how much honey we can get off of them. Mm -hmm. 